Chris Anderson and I'm on the Elevate project working with shade makers in the Isle of Wight and Manchester School of Samba. Hello, Matthew, and I play in uh, Manchester School of Samba. Um, and I am currently helping out by pressing the seams for some waistcoats, which um, is going to form part of the drummer's costumes for the Manchester Day Parade. So um, there's some people who are going to be wearing yellow waistcoats, and there's some people who are going to be wearing red waistcoats, um, as part of the uh, kind of Manchester industrial theme. My name's Cressida and I've been helping at the Manchester School of Samba, helping making their costumes for the parade in Manchester. Um, today's the first time I've been doing sewing. Um, the other few weeks I've been cutting out things, um, gluing a lot of things, drawing around things, huge um, big feathers and stuff for the wings, so there's a lot to do. Have you gained new skills from it? Yeah, definitely. I've met a lot of new people as well. Um, just, I'm working with materials I've never really worked with before and all the metal work, I've never really come across things like that. Um, and honing my sewing skills, I've got very basic sewing skills, so it's good to learn. I learn from experts as well, so yeah, it's good. Um, my name's Carl, I play the number one Cerdo in Manchester School of Samba. I've been doing it for just under a year, so this is going to be my first Manchester Day Parade. So what, what um, are you working on? Uh, we just make um, my name's Lorraine Taylor, um, I am with the Manchester School of Samba and I'm helping with questions for Manchester Day Parade. So my name's Lauren, uh, I've been a dancer with the Manchester School of Samba for four years at least now. Um, I've been involved in the costume design for sort of the past three years or something as well. I designed the costumes last year, so kind of quite involved in the production of them. Um, why do we do it? Um, it's good fun, it's like a family really. I mean, Samba's all about sort of community and celebrating life, so, and costume design kind of perfectly encapsulates that as well, and so does Manchester Day. Um, so, yeah, it's good for that. It's learned, it's taught me a lot of the new skills for the construction, and, and also like the managing side of it, how to go about yeah, the funds and getting the money in, and how to like work out a budget and things like that. Yeah, definitely. I'm really completely novice and new to all of this kind of stuff. So yeah, it's great. And it's really nice that it's been a kind of a process as well, where Chris has been sending designs over and I've been having input and then it's kind of great. Yeah, and it's nice to see it's good to work in a really creative environment and lots of people got lots of different ideas. It's very collaborative, I think. It's not just one person telling you exactly what to do. There's people giving their ideas saying, oh, maybe we could do it this way or oh, let's change the shape of the wings and things like that. And that's really, that's good because then everyone feels part of it. Um, no, it's been really good actually to see their ideas and to kind of, we met with Chris and with Paul as well, so it's been interesting to hear about their different kind of perspective on things and obviously to see this all starting to come together, it's, uh, it's really good, yeah. It's all, yeah. <laughs> um, it's really nice because I've actually worked with another project uh, a couple of years ago we were doing the Manchester Day Parade, but it's just been really nice to actually get some really practical skills, um, like pattern cutting, that kind of thing. Um, before I was just kind of like, and stuff and so it's been really really nice to get some solid experience in something that I can actually kind of see I can do. Um, we've only just started I mean I would say that um, I've definitely seen some more construction skills going on this year with regards to making the backpacks for the dancers and it's been a little bit more <laughs> guided this year because in previous years we've kind of had to guess the templates and that kind of thing so that's something that's really come out of it, it's helped build our knowledge and sort of putting together these metal structures so that we've got more secure costumes that will last for longer in the future. Um, well, with the skills that I've learned over on the Isle of Wight with Paul, I've tried to then pass on to the members of the Samba group, so they're taking charge of the costume side of things, so showing them the backpacks and provided them and they're now in the process of decorating them how they want for the parade. And it is learning new skills as well, it's meeting new people, and it's just enjoying it. It's really good, and then it'll be really good to see it, people performing in the outfits that you've helped made. That'll be really, really exciting. Um, I suppose the Samba band in general, it's kind of just, it's nice to have something regular to do and come together with like-minded people. 
Um, and this kind of thing I've been really interested in, kind of learning these skills that go alongside it. Like I've always been playing music all my life, but in terms of kind of costume making and stuff like that, carnival arts is all quite new, so it's, yeah. So in Stitch, whatever, um, but my main reason for kind of being here was that I really enjoy being a part of the music and the dance, and because I couldn't be a really be a part of that so actively it's nice to be able to have some skills where I can still be a part of it without being inside it if that makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> that may. Um, well, I guess our whole year kind of revolves around the Manchester Day so it's kind of like a, a pinpoint it motivates us to make these new costumes to go out in the community to find people to work with and to pass on our skills and to build it ourselves as well and I guess we would kind of do that outside of it anyway but Manchester Day kind of gives us a little bit of a focal point and something to strive towards so it really helps us in that.